Matter and subatomic particle. We have four most essential learning competencies in this video. Helium, hydrogen gas, and water composed of atoms. Helium is one type of atom and we call it as pure element. Hydrogen gas is most likely a pure element since it has the same multiple element. Water is not a pure element because it has two different kinds of atom. It has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Let's have some more exercises. Let us determine if it is an atom or molecule and also a pure element or compound. Let us start with O2. It is a molecule since it contains multiple but only one type of atom. CO2. It is a molecule because it contains a different kinds of atom. Ne or neon. Atom because it contains a pure element. F2 is a molecule since it contains a multiple but only one type of atom. Let's take a walk on the last lesson regarding the scientists who work on atoms. Activity number one, understanding the history of atoms. John Dalton says, all matter is composed of small indivisible objects. He proposed the billiard model in 1803. The next scientist is J.J. Thomson. He proposed that a neutral atom is made up of equal number of positive and negative particles. In 1904, he made the plum pudding model. Planetary model is proposed by Ernest Rutherford. That is in 1911. It says that the nucleus of the atom is extremely small and it is a positive charge. The rest of the atom is mostly empty and it contains electrons. The Bohr atomic model in 1913 is proposed by Niels Bohr. He says that electrons can only be occupy certain energy levels around the positive nucleus. In 1926, Erwin Schrödinger proposed the quantum model. He used mathematical equations to describe the likelihood of finding an electron in a certain position. Quiz time! Write the answer in your notebook. A few moments later. Got all the answers? You're the best! The third objective is Describe atoms and its subatomic particles. What is inside atom? Atomic structure An atom is the smallest particle of a chemical element. What makes it up? Neutrons, protons, and electrons. What is the structure? Electrons orbit the nucleus which contains the neutrons and protons. We have 118 kinds of atoms in a periodic table. If we observe elements such as gold, carbon, and oxygen, we can see that they have very different properties. They don't look or act the same. But why they are so different? 
It comes down in what is inside the atoms. Inside atoms are the three subatomic particles. Kapag ang mga subatomic particle ay pinagsama, bubuo ang mga ito ng isang tinatawag na element. Batay sa bilang ng bawat mga subatomic particle. At ito ay proton, electron, at saka neutron. Ito ang mga characteristics ng proton. Meron siyang symbol, absolute charge, relative charge, absolute mass, relative mass, location, and we have also the discoverer. Halimbawa, ang first element, hydrogen, ay may isang proton. Hydrogen has only one atom. And the atomic mass is 1. The number of neutron is 0. Ang helium ay pangalawa sa periodic table. At makikita siya sa kabilang side ng periodic table. Ang helium ay may dalawang proton. Ang kanyang atomic mass ay 4. At mayroon din siyang dalawang neutron. Ang lithium naman ay matatagpuan sa ilalim ng hydrogen. Siya ay ang pangatlong atom at meron din siyang tatlong proton. Yan ang periodic table na binubuo ng maraming element magmula sa hydrogen hanggang 180 elements. Katulad ng proton, ang neutron ay meron ding mga iba't ibang mga properties. Neutral particles have no electric charge. Bakit kailangan ng protons ang neutrons? Well, pag walang neutrons, ang electric force ay magdudulot sa positively charged protons ng pagtutulakan ng atoms. Pero dahil sa stronger force na mayroon ang protons at neutrons, ay napipigilan ang paglabas ng proton at yan ay tinatawag na strong nuclear force. Yan ang nagsisilbing parang pandikit sa loob ng nucleus. Kung walang neutrons, lahat ng atoms ay para na lang hydrogen. Kung ang neutrons at protons ay nasa loob ng nucleus, ibahin natin ang electrons. Siya ay spinning around the nucleus of an atom. At yan ang kanyang mga properties. Oo, yan nga. Yan tumuturo dyan sa araw. Ang electrons ay mas maliit kaysa sa protons at sila ay paikot-ikot at lightning speed. As electron clouds around the atom, nagagawa ng electron ito dahil meron silang negative electrical charge na humihila sa proton na positive charge. Ito'y nagdudulot ng electrical force kaya lahat ng elements ay kaparehong number ng electrons at protons. Nasa pangatlong objective na tayo. Determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. Get ready with your periodic table and write the missing number of the particles. A few moments later. Now, let's reveal the answers. If you got all the correct answers, Mam Parado says, you're the best. Now, let's draw the electron arrangement. This is oxygen 8. 3 lithium. Carbon 6. Silicon 14. Gold 79. Hydrogen 1 
Sojum 11 Neon 10 Radium 88 And Aluminum 13 The last objective is Determine the number of electron, proton, and neutron in a positive and negative ions. What is an ion? Ions is a group of atom that has an electrical charge. Napag-aralan natin na ang atom ay may dalawang electrical charge. At ayan ay ang positive sa proton at negative sa electron. Aluminum 13 with a mass of 27. It loses electrons so that it has aluminum 3 plus. In aluminum atom, it has 13 proton, 14 neutrons, and 13 electrons. To get the electrons, we will going to subtract atomic numbers to charge, which is 0. In aluminum ions, we have 13 proton, 14 neutron, and 10 electrons. How is that happen? In getting the electrons, atomic number minus charge. So that in algebra, 13 minus positive 3 is equivalent to 10. It is a cut ion because positive charge, meaning there are more protons than electrons. Paano naman kung kabaligtaran? Ang atom gains electron. Example number 2. Phosphorus 15 with a mass of 31 gains electron to Phosphorus 15 with 3 minus. Proton 15, neutron 16, and electron 15. So, there, there is a neutral or no charge for electrons. In phosphorus ions, we have 15 protons, 16 neutron, and 18 electrons. Paano nangyari yun? Kasi po, ang atomic number ay 15 minus the negative charge na 3. So, that's equivalent to 18. So, this is an example of an ions. Negatively charged ions, more electrons than proton. Additional exercises, take a look at sodium and oxygen. In activity number 4, write the, the name of the elements in column 1. Symbols of element and there are 3 subatomic particles including atomic mass in column 2. And in column 3, identify if it is a cation or an ion. A few moments later. Now, let's reveal the answers.
kung may natutunan kayo sa video ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.